Love it. Very cool. We'll give another ch uh, shout out later, Chadwick, when we have way more people in here. <laughs> Sorry, it's super early in the stream and people are uh, watching the lower bracket finals. So just remind me later, we'll give another shout out, alright? Or more, more in the hundreds of people watching. Is a great track. Love the ape bit shit, dude. Anybody, anybody that grew up with uh, an NES has to be a fan of this kind of music. Come on, man! You got like Mario, like. Growing effect sound effect going there. Amazing. I think we have another one where there's like Sonic the Hedgehog um, ring collection sound effects. They're really easy to spot. I'm sure I'll call them out if we hear the song. Oh yeah. a little nicer, that little edge there, we just polished up. We're gonna continue all the way through the top though. But, we're gonna keep saving our work. You're welcome Chadwick. side I guess. Too close. Oh did you guys hear uh, Mr. Burns' voice, like the actor, I forget his name. Uh, he's retiring from The Simpsons. 
And quite honestly, I can't believe that they enti almost the entire cast has been still doing that show for... Oh god, how, how many... what is it, 17 years now? 20-something years? Like... I mean, sadly... what is it? Yeah, but all the vo I guess... well, I mean... Yeah, most of the voices, I guess, yeah, have been still since then. But, I mean, the show stopped being great many years ago, sadly. But the fact that they retained the voices, even through the show being kind of crap now, is really amazing. I, I didn't think that they would stick around for this long. So it was nice that, you know, they lasted that, that long, but it's it's time to stop to end The Simpsons, sadly. It's, it's just not funny anymore. It's so, and I think the worst part, I mean, I, never, I was a huge Simpsons fan, I loved the show. But it just became kind of like a... Um, pop culture references in every single episode instead of like actual clever storylines like they used to be back when um, Conan O'Brien was one of the head writers for the show. That's when the Simpsons were in their prime, right? It was seasons, you know, 4 through 10. That was the real magic of the Simpsons. And since then they've just fallen into like the really crappy and lazy storylines that nobody gives a fuck about. Like, when you start referencing Kardashians in the fucking... in every single episode, and... Ugh, it's just so lazy, and uh, I... It's kinda sad. They, they grew to that. Same with Family Guy. Family Guy is garbage now as well. I mean, it was never like super amazing, but at least it was more clever before. Now it's just completely just random jokes, like even more random than before. It really turned to crap. And actually, it, uh, it's turned really freaking uh, like beyond lowbrow. Like it used to be, you know, a little bit, and that's okay. But now it's just so fucking lowbrow. It's not even funny anymore. That's just me, though. I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about it. But when you just do shock value for the hell of it, it's just not funny, and it's just. Lame. I guess I just, you know, be clever, man. I think people respect that a lot more. Oh, what's up, Sally? What are you up to? Working on some sick HUDs, I bet. We're gonna need a subdivision here. Shit. Hello, Lunari. Emperor Kappa is way better than regular Kappa. Just saying. I'll get away with this subdivision level, maybe. Uh, it's kind of rough over here. Maybe we can polish it a bit. Let's see if I can pull this off. Polygons. I don't know, maybe we can do it. That's not bad. I mean, you'll never see that much. Yeah, well, we'll just fix some of the texture. It's all good. Let's just start with defining this leather a little bit uh, better here. Zyler, what's up? Game is over. Alright, no spoilers, guys. Uh, I want to maybe watch them at some point later. I'm sure somebody's going to spoil this shit for me. But... <laughs> Try not to, please.
put some wrinkles over here. Emphasize the leather turning. And a little bit of the imprint from uh, this uh, extra armor pads. Or whatever the hell these are. A little bit of an imprint. Manny Quinn. What? The weapon is sick. The weapon. Uh, oh, oh, did you see us sculpting it before? The the mug. Actually, I think I have a screenshot of it. Hold up. I have it in here somewhere. Oh, Sally, you know, I, I have it written down on my to-do list for the banner. I have not forgotten, dude. We just, I'm just crazy, crazy busy uh, trying to finish four sets for TI5, but I promise I'll get to the banner, man. I have not forgotten. It's on my list. And sorry for the delay, man. I, I apologize. Definitely want to help you guys out. We'll, uh, we'll throw the... They, they made this really cool HUD for the people that are not familiar with what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> they made this really cool HUD and I told them that I would help them uh, promote it on the front page of Live Workshop so that more people can see their awesome work. So I, I, I still have to do that. So I have not forgotten, dude. It's gonna happen. I just need some uh, many clones, you know? And I don't want to half-ass it either, you know, I want to make a really nice banner. Make sure it's uh, it's something that I would, you know, want to, like, if it was one of my sets, I would put the same amount of work to it. So I'm not going to just do it for the hell of it, you know, I'm going to make do a good job for it. That's how we do it here. I was uh, Dundo said coming along. Oh man, he's gonna be Siler. Uh, well, we're actually gonna switch over to it after we finish uh, this sections for the uh, Brewmaster for DK Kobos. Uh, what's up, that guy stuff? Uh, so yeah, you'll you'll see where we're at with the Queen of Pain. We're actually gonna be sculpting part of the weapon. Actually, no, we'll finish the weapon tonight. So you see, everything else is done. So it's just the weapon that's left over for Seabrush, and then we'll start the textures. Uh, what's the probably next week. I think Monday I'm scheduled to start on the textures for her. This is not the bland brew? Yeah, this is the bland brew master, dude. Looking pretty strong. It's great. Great, great, great. And we'll go through this guy and uh, polish this guy up as well. Enemy started this uh, cover bond from the concept we gave him, and he's got a really, really nice start here. A matter of uh, brushing out uh, some of these sections and making it look nice and prime. And we'll make sure that these guys mirror each other. Symmetry. Nice. Yeah, see that? Even that little pass there is already looking nice, so we'll do the rest. Cover bun. The Orchid integration. Oh, dude, have you not seen the low poly of the Orchid we did? I already uh, got that set up, I did the UVs, and I imported into ZBrush on that file. So we're actually going to be seat brushing the handle, the orchid, and I already did the dagger. So the dagger is already done. Uh, I might need a couple touch-ups, but that part is already done. So yeah, I'll be mostly just the handle and the orchid. Uh, should be pretty simple, actually. 
the handle will probably be the most intensive part because of all the pedals we're overlapping. But yeah, should be good, should be good. Uh, concept art for when this is supposed to be done. Uh, actually, I have a really quick version of it. Because uh, I just did uh, like a super quick pass uh, so that enemy or artist that started the ZBrush for it would uh, could, get, could get started on it. So he didn't need something super detailed or anything. He's really, really talented. So I just did a really quick one and then from there he got it, everything set up. So here, let me let me bring it up. Hold up. Where is it? There we go. Whoop. Put it on the big screen for you guys. So this is just a really quick pass that I did. Over top of a of a screenshot, so there you can see I just kind of like half painted some silhouette shapes for the belt, which he did. He transferred over to the C brush really easy. I mean, super simple uh, coat illustration or concept that he started on the C brush as well. The arms were already done actually. I had, we had already done the the C brush for these guys, and then the weapon is super simple here. Like I didn't do the, all that much detail since I was going to be doing the the weapon anyway. So I just kind of threw it in that so that. Um, the metal would go across when we started the barrel, which is not in this concept either, but... I mean, this is just to get the idea of where to go with it, and uh, the placement, and the number of plates to do, and how they all kind of relate to each other at the same time with the leather strap that is part of the default model. And then the white sections that we're covering up with the top leather, the chainmail, and the bottom leather. Like, we're covering all the white on his, on his default uh, skin. Uh, here, let me show you on the model. Whoop. Well, actually, you guys can see it over here. This is the default, minus this, this is ours. What was that? Oh. So that's the default model right there. And then uh, here's our starting low poly. And then the ZBrush that we're doing right now will get all baked into here and glue the colors and make it, making, you know, get it looking all amazing and completely unique. Uh, oh yeah, so DK Phobos was with us on the last stream. I don't know if you guys were around. He said it. he was chilling in here with us and answering some questions. And we wanted to do something really uh, personal to him on the model itself as part of the sculpt. So he gave us... Uh, do I have this image in here somewhere? Where did I save it? Hold on, I gotta bring it up. You guys wanna see it. Where do I have it? One second, I gotta min minimize a whole bunch. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so it's a little bit weird, but um, we're obviously not going to make it green, but I'm going to sculpt this crazy rabbit head on the back side. I'm actually going to keep this open because we're going to need it in a second, or whenever we start that part of the sculpt. Uh, so we're going to put it right in the back of the barrel here so you can always see it. And it's going to be like a metal, like it's going to be made out of the same gray metal, but it's going to be right here as an imprint coming out. And he's super, super excited about that. So that's the one personal thing that we're doing for DK Phobos for his Brewmaster set. Uh, should be really, really exciting. Here, maybe we should keep that picture open. Uh, this one here, but scale it down. I can maybe zoom out or something. Uh, the front or the back is cooler. I don't know. I guess we can switch around it now and then. I'll keep it in the corner somewhere over here. Oh yeah, the bottom corner is actually perfect since I'm not on there. Usually I'm down here. <laughs> Alright, that's good, that's good. Ah, what am I doing? Oh, wait, hold up. I gotta make that uh, always on top. No, nope, not that one. That one. There we go. Hoorah. Uh, the weapon is awesome! Oh yeah man, uh, wait till you see the, the sea brush. I'll bring it up uh, a little bit later, after we do a little bit more work on this uh, other items. He needs a scar? A scar would be awesome dude, but we don't have the polygons to re... like to put all those polygons on top of his eyebrows. And then if we did that, we would also need to do the... Uh, the facial animations, which is very time consuming, so... Uh, and I mean, most of all, we don't have the poly count. We spent it all trying to really make use of uh, 
of the items that are really low poly, and we actually pulled it off pretty good, I think. What's up, Sean Fady One? Thank you for the follow. A hood? Uh, no, dude, he doesn't have a head item. And here, let me show you what we're using for our items. This entire piece is his back item. All this. And check out the cool new shape that we got out of it. Like, he's more built, more armored. And once we put the C brush on it, it's gonna look even cooler. So we actually made really, really good, efficient use of the back item. We cover all this stuff up and make it all leather armored. And then for the shoulder item, we didn't put a shoulder thing on him. We actually made the cover bond, the blind eyes, which look really cool. And the back uh, uh, strips that actually animate with physics inside the engine. And then the arms are both of these ropes, which we only had, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, 250 polygons for both hands. So those came out actually really, really good. And the barrel is at 300 polygons. So that's gonna be. Uh, actually, looks. We actually squeezed out more polygons out of it too, and more detail than the the default barrel. And then our weapon, you guys can see here over a little bit better. We have a spicy staff with a chain, and then his ale mug with actual ale in it. And we're doing special effects for the mug. That will have the ale head and uh, fuss coming out and spilling, and then also ale spilling about and splashing out. Um, and we have that working in game as well. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh yeah, and the barrel will also have a, a little bit of a crack back here, and it's gonna be spilling a little bit of ale, leaving a little bit of a trail. Really, really unique stuff for our DK Phobos. Uh, Aces Polar. Oh shit, no, they changed their name. What, what are they now? They're, they dropped the Aces? I forget. Maybe you guys can tell me. <laughs> can I make a Juggernaut Arcana? Uh, Bob's the only... team <laughs> that does Arcana sets at the moment. So, it's up to them. BDR, thank you so much, man. How long did it take? Uh, I believe uh, Enemy started the sea brush out of my low poly stuff. I made the low poly in uh, probably a couple nights. And the, wep the weapon one night and then the rest of the set in another night for the low poly and the design. And then I did the paint over in another night for him to start the sea brush. And he actually did the starting of the sea brush really fast as well. He probably, I think he did it in a couple days, or one night actually. He did it really fast. And then tonight we're just uh, finishing off the sea brush for him. Virtuous Pro, yeah, there you go, man. Thank you. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm out of the loop. That's really out. That was me taking Cheetos away from Pig Ninja. Brush some stuff in really quick. Smooth it out.
Alright, alright. That work. BK Phobos. The Canuck, what's up man? Welcome back. Do I have a partner that we do all these with? Right now we have a three person team. Uh, enemy, myself, and Abyss FX are creating uh, all our sets. And we actually, uh, I brought in two other artists, phenomenal artists, to help us out with the two extra sets that uh, we needed help with to finish for May 26th. So we had Katafa helping us out with our Skyrath set, and we got Cat Same Sack helping us out with our Ember Spirit set. So for those sets, we have, I guess, three, yeah, still three artists per so those sets. So for those sets, for the Skyrath, Catafe, myself, and Abyss, and for the Ember Spirit, uh, Cat's, uh, I could never say his name in one shot. Cat Same Sack, myself, and Abyss on that one. And for this Brewmaster, and me, myself, and Abyss. And for the Quap, me, myself, and Abyss. Or me, me, <laughs> myself, me, uh, enemy, and uh, Abyss as well. There we go. Can I change to full color for a little bit? Well, I don't have the colors in ZBrush. I just have them over here in our self image scene. And this is just colors over low poly stuff. So right now we're doing all the detail that will get transferred over to our low poly and then for our textures to look super, super amazing. Here, let me bring this over so you guys can see it a little bit cooler. Put it over here. And I'll hide this guy. Whoop. Be easier for you guys. I'll move this guy out of the way too, I guess. Whoop. Oh no! Ale! There we go. That's a good idea for what they're gonna be looking at. Super cool. And we have the aliens that are actually like spinning around and looking like liquid, you know. This is gonna be moving and swinging this around and the chains are all working with physics and all that good stuff. So I'm making the entire new brew 3D model instead of just new set polygons. Uh, we're making all, yeah, we're replacing all the uh, default item sets, but we have to keep the default model, which is what you see t uh, visited or super low poly. It's just there so we know the vo uh, the volumes to go randomly. Uh, Lab Workshop, uh, you guys all responsible for different categories like textures, special effects, and whatever. Uh, so for most of the sets, I do, I design them, like the concept, design them, I do the low poly, the UVs and enemy has been baking them out, setting up the starting textures for them. Uh, and then I grab this, I do the ZBrush work, the detailing and whatever. Uh, enemy, like I said, bakes them out, starts uh, doing the really cool setup for the textures, hands it over to me, I, I texture them. Abyss starts rigging them, making the special effects, the animations, and the enemy has been making the materials for them to look all shiny and reflective and self-illuminated or whatever. And then for uh, this particular brewmaster, enemy has been helping out also with the sea brush, and he was also going to be helping out with the textures. And Abyss is also going to be helping out with the textures. But yeah, for the other sets, it's usually me doing the sea brush and the textures, the low poly and the same. But yeah, we want to move into uh, future sets where they continue helping out with the textures and the sea brush as well, so that um, yeah, so that they get keep improving, learning, and uh, keep putting out more work for all the sets. Uh, over here, it's 7:30 p.m. It's super, super early actually for us. Hey, what's up, Frackru? Thank you for the follow. Hi right, guys, uh, I'm gonna take a short break. I need to have a quick, quick chat with enemy, actually, <laughs> about all people. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, okay? So I'm gonna put it on our break screen and I'm gonna have to mute the music, unfortunately. Sorry guys, so hang tight. We'll be right back and we'll continue working on some dope, dope sea brush for Brewmaster for DK Phobos. And once we finish that, I'll move over to Queen of Pain, then set. All right guys, be back in a bit.
No, I know. Uh, I'm trying to uh, get him on the on the phone, <laughs> but I will. I'll mute it once uh, he actually picks up. I don't know where he ran off to. That's why you're hearing the Skype calling. But I think he stepped away. Terrible timing, I know.
Okay, sorry about that guys, had to have a chat with one of our artists, got everything straightened out, we're good to go. Ducks are in a row. What was that? Uh, they ain't hear you. Louder. Quack quack. <laughs> uh, welcome back guys, thank you for hanging out there. Let's keep going. An hour. AK Fubbo's Brewmaster set. The Dendi set, uh, we'll be working on that later tonight. A lot of work, a lot of work. Just keep detailing this a little bit. It's still, uh, I don't know, I want, I'll say we're probably way past, like, uh, what is it, 60% done here on the ZBrush work? Right now it's more about getting the, a little bit of the imprints and then moving on to uh, doing the wrinkles a little bit on the leather and then really finessing the uh, overlaid armor patches or whatever these guys are called. I'm not super familiar with the terminology, medieval armor. Smoothing this out, we see a little bit of the. Uh, the edge line where the quad was for the low poly. Let's clean that up real quick. Actually, we need more volumes here. Getting a little bit weird. Okay, let's smooth it out. Let's stop these volumes. There we go. Now we can uh, polish it out. Um, you guys can guess the name of the song. Some people asked last time, it's like, really? <laughs> you don't know the name of the song? some uh, harsher wrinkles here some of this fabric coming through a little something like that all right bitch go lose 25 mmr if you want to lose for sure pick techies and fuck your team over and get reported. Good times. Fuck techies. Can Valve already please redesign the hero mechanics for techies? Please! I'll make a techie set if that happens. I swear. This lifetime or the next. This is such an energy song, I love it. Hey Ninja, throwing up the fist in the air. <laughs> she is wearing a t-shirt. 
My Twitch shirt. I lost it? Fuck. Damn right. So much hate. Let it flow through you, young Anakin. Now. <laughs> God damn it! It's working. <laughs> Fucking pussy ass Anakin. Even his friends are fucking like Poindexters. I'll never win, Annie. Fuck you, what kind of a friend are you? What have you done with your life, slave? And they're like bitching at Annie for building a fucking pod raiser? The fuck? Where do you get those friends? Huh? Well, yeah, but so is him. I mean, oh, well, he is a pussy, but I mean, come on, man. If you're building a pod raiser, you get some. You should have better friends than that. Friends that tell you, like, it's never gonna work, Annie. Fuck you, man. What the hell do you do? Waddle doesn't do shit. That's why he's the slave owner. Ah, Nubian! <laughs> Fuck, I wish that uh, our buddy uh, Brandon was here. He does the best impression. <gasps> you should call my phone and we can play it over the thing. Do it! Yes. You guys gotta listen to my voice answer machine. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, go. Let me just mute my uh, phone first. There we go. I'll put it on speaker, I'll bring it over here. I'll mute the music. You guys hear that? <laughs> That's my answering machine, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it's great. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Big Ninja. No. No. <laughs> you make tacos, then you get Cheetos. Oh, that's right, people answer way quicker now with this new si system. Swaggy Cabbage, what's up, man? Oh, I know, right? We're super early tonight. It's a good thing, though. Six Sagger, man, I do not speak Russian. Can you please translate it to English and I will answer your question? The pitching brewmaster? Yeah, I have no idea what the hell that. I, I don't know what he's talking about either, man. Dude, Abyss, right? It's I think we're down to like seven seconds, man, or something like that. This is amazing. I can interact with you guys a lot, a lot better now. I'm really, I'm, I'm really hyped for it. Go Amazon. Way to buy Twitch, and then improve this shit. Love it. No, it is not like Disney. How dare you? Oh my god. Oh, alright. How dare you miss? <laughs> yes. Mine knows 5,000 credits. Oh, it's happening. What was causing the stream lag? No, that was just the way that Twitch was set up before because they have so many people streaming that, you know, their their servers were being overloaded. So they needed to have a, a delay on all the streams to push all that uh, as close as possible. Uh, but now I guess they've upgraded all their stuff with Amazon, you know, coming in and um, 
now they have a setting where uh, each stream can each streamer with a partner streamer can have this option of having even lower stream delay. It, it does come at a slight cost of uh, more bandwidth, but it's really down to the viewer anyways. So I mean, if you're watching a stream, you know, with shitty bandwidth, you're gonna be buffering regardless. So uh, I, I definitely want to have you know closer interaction with you guys. So I set it up for the live workshop. No face cam today. <laughs> uh, we'll turn it on a little later tonight, man. We're gonna be on here for a while, I guess. Ugh. So much to catch up on! So back here, we're. Uh, well, I guess. Oh man, I didn't put that screen back up. Nope, not that one. That's for the barrel. There we go. So if we scroll over here, you guys can see the back. Uh, the very top section. Oh, you guys can see my mouse. Oh, he's got like a red imprint at the top that we're gonna put. So uh, we just won't have as much detail over there for the seat brush. So, but for the top part, we're gonna put a few wrinkles here and there. Uh, maybe up here a little bit. Get a little bit of a highlight. Why not? Alright, alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's build it up a little bit with a standard brush too. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of a really thick kind of wrinkle of uh, really heavy leather so we'll thicken it out as it goes to this ladder section Let me make that look pretty good here smooth is a little strong about a 60% smooth is usually uh, a happy medium to have your, your default smoothing at or any sea brush uses out there Dorma? Dormaha? What up, man? Ladder edge here. Just a little. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey man, I missed that follow. Welcome. Flatter too, a little bit smoother, like here. This flat area for that symbol we're gonna put on there. The red to really shine by itself. Touching it up, or did I start fresh from this one? 
<clears throat> so enemy actually started the seabrush for this guy from the low poly that uh, we uh, supplied him. Uh, so he had uh, this leather patches on there, uh, like this guy's down here, but with the bolts already on there. So I just kind of finesse them to get a little bit of a more together shape or directional shape on them. And then I've been uh, also detailing the leather stuff that he started. And we'll do the, the bottom section as well. And he set up these uh, this really cool uh, chain mail. And I've been kind of positioning them a little bit to uh, follow that shape a bit more. But yeah, he set this guy up as well. Really cool. Really? <laughs> oh, you jerk. Alright, that leather section looks pretty okay. I don't want to over detail it because we have this this section that starts moving out into the, the default section over here, so this should be kinda on the plain side. So it's easier to merge in Photoshop and 3D code or whatever we end up using. Put those guys together. Needs a little bit more volumes. <clears throat> That's it. Like this little circle theory thing that I did there, so maybe we can push that across another part and make it more of a pattern. Maybe uh, between breaks of these guys it might look okay. Let's see if I can pull it off. Oh god. Too deep. Wow. That's not bad. Hello, Fedrin. Has it been a while? How long, man? How long has it been? A while. What's the theme for the set? He is a drunk blind master. And uh, check it out. We have a barrel with his cork, dripping ale, <clears throat> his mug on his spiky staff. It's also gonna be spilling ale and um, ale. Um, what, what's it called? Like head? Uh, was? <laughs> head? Ale head? Is it? <laughs> be growing and. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, can you not say head? Okay. <laughs> well, it's. Head. It, I don't know. It doesn't. Uh, you can't. You can't. You can't do that on Twitch chat. It just starts shit up really, really easily. I feel like head. <laughs> Let's see how that wow. Works. Yeah. We're just. No. This is. This is bad. This is bad for Twitch chat. Oh, what's up, Steve? Give him gray hair. Uh, well, there's no head item, man, so uh, all the items are already spoken for. But we're able to squeeze in a uh, new little metal piece for his beard and uh, blind eyes.
playing with fire. <laughs> I know, right? I know. A red blindfold. Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool, but I actually like the way that the eyes look on uh, on him. Especially on the avatar view. And we don't... Somebody actually brought up the blindfold before. But a blindfold just does not fit on his head shape either. Like, the ears are just completely in the way. His eyes are really low. <laughs> so it would look just completely weird trying to fit some sort of eye band around his really, really awkward flat head. Wouldn't work, man. Just wouldn't work. Look at those eyes. They look cool. Thank you, old salty. Can you bind the new hair to another slot if there's no head slot? Yes, absolutely we could. But then what do we take away? We would lose that on our copper bond or our rope arms or our entire back piece. You just only got four slots, man. Well, oh, is it one, two... Oh shit, hold on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's only got four slots, man. Or is it five? It's got five. The back, the arms, the shoulder, offhand, which is the barrel, and the weapon. So I mean, why would you? Why would we lose to put that stuff in? You know, it, all these other items are really important to to complete the set. So we, we don't really have an extra uh, slot item for that stuff, man. Unfortunately, all these other slots are super important for their direction. Oh, what slots? The word, I mean. What's wrong with you? Jeez. And uh, maybe we bring one of these guys over right here. That work? Yeah, it kind of works. Kind of works. And one in the center. I don't know. Sure, why not? A little detail. Works. Roki, what's up? Yeah, each slot is limited in polygons, and not only polygons, but also in texture space. So if you if you have enough polygons and you add all this cool shit, you have to find place on the really small texture to fit all that stuff. So even if you are able to do it in polygons, sometimes the texture will actually limit you, and you can't use all those polygons sometimes, depending on the surface space used with those polygons and how clever you are at balancing both things out. Yeah, and in particular, the Brewmaster has really, really sl uh, uh, low poly count limits. So it was definitely really tricky to fit all these guys in already. Rodri, what's up, man? That's right. That's right, Klee. Uh, did I hear about TF2 matchmaking? No, dude, I have not. Is it like, are, are they adding like ranked kind of MMR shit? That'd be cool. Ranked play? Awesome, it is. Yeah, that'll be exciting. I'll definitely join that shit up, man. I destroy with my heavy. We entered, uh, like, we used to play at a Studio Rumble servers. A bunch of us, like, uh, like our Studio Rumble server uh, is, was uh, made out of different uh, studios in the industry, like just friends that, you know, we, we met and we, uh, we opened up to other studio members and it was like friends from Blizzard and LucasArts and Gearbox and uh, some Valve guys and yeah, we all just played on the server, all different from different studios, like developers. And when we went to PAX, they had a tournament, a LAN tournament, and there was like, there happened to be, I think, five or seven of us together at the point when we ran into the, the land thing there and we're like, you know what, whoever's here, let's just join up and see how we do. We got the fucking silver medal for the tournament, man. It was crazy. You gonna believe it? I have the medal around here somewhere.
I'm gonna cut these guys off at the bottom. Might look cooler. Yeah, yeah. And we can cut that out with an alpha if we need to in the in the texture map and make it uh, completely, you know, look like it's over the top of it. With a little bit of a shadow. Should look good. Actually, Abyss is gonna be texturing this, so he'll he'll cover that. Yeah. They have a progress. Mesalopia, you never watched this channel before, but you wonder how often do I stream? You're trying to make your own Dota set and wonder if you could learn by your videos. Sorry for the English, not good at language. Dude, your English is perfectly fine, man. Don't worry about that. And thank you so much for the nice comments. You, uh, we try to stream three times a week. And we also have a whole bunch of past broadcasts up on our website at liveworkshop.com. And we still have a whole other hundred or so videos to upload from all other stuff that we worked on with that uh, I need to make thumbnails and actually spend the time uploading them which we'll do after TI or after the crunch for TI5 uh, but yeah check those out man hopefully you can learn something if you have any questions we'll try and help you out Thought you'd be doing just the weapon and the barrel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So the, the back and the shoulder piece, which happens to be the cummerbund, will be done by uh, enemy. And if he gets stuck, uh, I will try and help him out with those textures too. Because he's got, uh, he's got a lot on his plate too. Right on, Misa. Sorry guys, one second. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta check a Seabrush file real quick. And actually, you guys can see the weapon this way. Save this. Load the tool. Uh, let's see here. Where's our weapon? One B B B B B B B. Are you? Ah. To a so are you asking about the ZBrush file or the low poly file? You're probably talking about this file. Two A has weird UVs. No, those are the right UVs, man. They're right up here with the mirror on the other side there. So those are the correct UVs. Uh, what's missing there? That was the ale. There it is. Yeah, those look those look accurate. Makes sense, enemy. And then uh, the staff. Well, this is the same one. That's over here. I just have them in this. I had this over here so I could send it to ZBrush and Mirror and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can just grab this guys and bake. Well, no, that's fine. You can you can bake to that dude and the, this guys that are standing over here. I guess I had these guys over here. So you can bake to those so that they're exactly in the same place as the ZBrush. 
and then we'll just transfer them off to the textures over to these guys, or just apply it to them when when we pass it to uh, Abyss. But yeah, don't worry about that, it's fine. Or you should be good to go. Whoops, what the hell? Yeah, let's hold the UVs there for the staff and the barrel. And this is our location. Is that zero? You have to just have to set those guys at zero, zero, zero. I think they're already there actually on the file. I just moved them down for uh, for the stream so people can see just the, the brewmaster a little bit better with the placeholder position of where we actually hold the staff. The two staffs give different UVs. Uh, let's see. No, these two staffs are the same. Uh, this stuff is uh, up here. So use this ones. Because this is how the ZBrush file is set up. See? Oh, uh, one thing to be careful, enemy. Uh, these little dudes. You probably have to bake those guys separately. Because they're kind of like, they got dug in a little bit by the metal stuff. They're supposed to be showing a bit more. So just be careful when you uh, bake those out. A uh, little bit of their section is uh, actually hiding. Just FYI. The mug is separate UVs, yes. Yeah, see, separate UVs on the mug. Oh, those are shoes? And the stuff is separate. Let's just give him a call, make sure everything's lined up. Hey man, you there? Yeah. Alright, hold up, let me pause the music so we can just uh, iron this out really quick. Make sure everything's in line. So you see uh, you, you see the screen, yeah? It's, I think it's like a 5 second delay, so it's a lot better now. Uh, it's just because you have a file called underscore UV and then one after it, so I... And they both have different UVs, so do you which one I'm supposed to use? Uh, this... Uh, so you, you, you see it like on the screen, right? You can see the... Yeah, but what file, file is that? This is 2A? This is 2A, yeah. And not one, one underscore UV. Uh, no. Oh, is the UV? This might be. Oh, hold on a second, man. Not sure why that's there. Let me double check for you. UV two. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. I'll just update this file for you to make sure you have the right one. No, I just want to make sure before I do it. Yeah, yeah. So the cup is its own uh, UV set and the stack is its own UV set. Yep. Yeah, I thought that was my uh, my, my own like Skype echoing, but it's yeah, <laughs> it's your fire truck. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna save this file to A with everything in place. Uh, we'll upload it for you. Beans. 2A and scenes 2A. Replace. I should have named it something else, but it's just replacing the file. Alright, you should be good. Oh, okay, sounds good. Alright, cool, Cheers. thanks. Yep. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Welcome back. Alright, move the stuff out of the way again. Okay. What's up, Sliss? 
How is the transition from high poly to low poly working if you only have limited poly count on the whole model? So the poly count is for the low poly. On the, your high poly, you can do as many polygons as you want. It's really just gonna bake all that detail into your low polygon with normal maps and light maps and ambient occlusion textures and then put all those into your uh, your color maps and your materials. Mask 1 and Mask 2 for the in-game version. Sick mug, 3D print one. Old Salty Man, we were talking about that the other day. It'd be super cool to uh, 3D print these guys and bring them to uh, the International to give away. That'd be super cool, but it really, it'll come down to how much time we got. So anyways, there's the staff, sea brushed. Enemy is going to be baking that stuff out, making some really cool starting textures for it. And then the base is going to be texturing that, those particular items. So let's get back to our sea brush. Got a whole bunch of shit to get through today. Get back to it. All right. Get this guy up here. See it. Sign it and mail it. You'll buy it. <laughs> That'd be cool. Hey, what's up, Dart? Welcome back, man. Uh, I actually wanted to get Abyss because he's a blacksmith, actually, <laughs> which is crazy. He does a little bit of everything. And I wanted to get him to actually make that Brewmaster mug, like in real life, out of wood and metal, you know, in, in, in a workshop. He's missing some materials where he's living right now, unfortunately, though, in Germany. Uh, but he would totally be able to make one, and if we had time, and if he wasn't doing his bachelor's or master's or whatever he's doing, at the, I think his bachelor's finals or something at that point. He'd be able to make one for us, and I'll be able to bring it over to TI5 and do a giveaway for some lucky fan at TI5. So, yeah, that'd be, uh, maybe we'll do it afterwards. We'll do it for, I don't know, I guess the next event that we have. See if we can do one. That'd be fucking epic, though. Yeah, there's a bit talking about it right now in the chat. Why the need for the high poly when actually in-game low poly is in it? So we actually bake all that detail onto the model with normal maps and in-game the lighting makes it look like it's that a lot more dense and has all the detail and creates shadows and highlights for us. So that's that's why you do a high poly version. You transfer all that information across different ways and it makes it look amazing again. Uh, my modeling daily, I am modeling daily and running the art direction and concepts and running the live workshop and streaming and texturing and sculpting and uh, a whole bunch of shit every day, yes, but we, I'm not able to stream every single day. Slows me down way too much. What's up Ragamuffin, you would like to get started on 3D modeling? Now that uh, if you finally got a rig, you can handle it. Oh, a, a PC that can help? Yeah, yeah. Any good programs to get started with? Uh, if you don't have a lot of money, just get Blender, because it's free and you can do everything. Uh, if you're a student, you can get student versions of anything Autodesk oriented. If you have money to spend, I suggest you get Softimage or Maya, you know, the, like actually buy them out so you can actually make stuff and submit it in the long run, because the student versions don't allow you to do that legally. And if you want to get a high poly modeling program, ZBrush is the way to go. A little pricey, but it's totally worth it in the long run. And for, for texturing, you can get GIMP, which is free. Or if you have money, you can get Photoshop with the monthly... I think you can get it for 20 bucks a month or so, which is great. The Cloud Edition. So yeah, there you go, man. As far as tutorials go, just look up beginner tutorials for whatever application you decide to go with and start learning the application and how things work before you start getting, trying to get good at actual sculpting. Take it in steps, man. I'll just add a little bit. Doesn't have to be all crazy. Already almost there, I think. Ah! 
little better finesse than that one. And I think that one we're gonna eat up a little bit. Kinda push it in. Get that really thick orbs crack tool. A little bit of depth. A bit of a fold. Whatevs. Rainbow Road! Love this track. Rainbow Road. That's a good idea, Ragamuffin. Yeah, the Creative Cloud is great for uh, Adobe. Which, it does end up working in their benefit, because Photoshop Ad doesn't really change that much, you know, from year to year. So their system now actually creates more revenue for them, which allows them to hopefully upgrade Photoshop more often than they used to do. But yeah, at the same time it's more affordable. Yeah, it does work out really well for them. <laughs> oh, there's pluses and, and you know, there's, there's good and bad, but you know. It's still a great program, so it's it's worth it in the end. For the amount that their stuff gets pirated, they deserve to make some money too, you know. Alright, let's jump onto these guys now. Rainbow Road. Killed it. What was that? Uh huh. Actually, I think these are too many up here. Do we need four up there? There's just. Uh, will two look kind of weird if we do two instead of. Mm, no, we'll keep the four. Thinking out loud. Should end it with that Rainbow Road. All right, then we're just gonna finesse these guys a little bit so they look more um, pushed into the leather. Create a nice little shadow for us when we make our ambient occlusion. And also, it will bake out into the normal map. Somebody was asking why I do all this shit. Basically, right now, as uh, our artist enemy has mentioned before, um, right now we're actually painting the texture. Even though we're, we're, we're sculpting, this is actually really just painting for our final version, because this all gets baked down, right? So we're, we're kind of like sculpting, in a, but painting really, in the, in the long run. You know, all this stuff is not going to be really 3D, it's going to be a texture driven by normal maps. To fake all these volumes. This particular meta cap that I like using, this is my go-to. Uh, it kind of, it has a pretty heavy cavity map, which kind of depicts how a little bit closer to what our ambient occlusion might actually bake out. So as you're sculpting, you get a really good idea of what your texture is gonna look like. You bake at least. Hey, what's up, Ariel? You never got the notification? You never get it! What's up with that? What the hell? Alright, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. 
just join our Steam group, you'll, you'll, I always send it on there. Epic Pete, uh, depends how many people are working it in and how much you do for the, uh, for the extra stuff like the loading screen and uh, videos, screenshots, things like that. If it was only one person working in it, uh, anywhere from three to four weeks, maybe more if you do extra things. For our team, we usually take about, uh, if we worked on it straight, which we never do, we jump around like five different sets. If we worked on one straight, uh, like the TA that we did, we finished that one in a week and a half. And, uh, but yeah, usually about two weeks, maybe. What's up, all salty? It's pretty laggy for you tonight. Just lower the resolution. Lower it to like high or medium from source. You should be good. Yeah, we're not crashing any longer, man. I fixed that shit. I use a PC, Dart. PC all the way. Not a fan of the max. Last time you were on, I were working on the Nick set. Do I remember that one? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. That's gonna be one of our like crazy awesome sets, dude. I can't wait to get back to it. Uh, it's gonna be part of our live workshop chest that we're gonna get to after TI5. We've done so many new animations for it and special effects, and uh, we have two different, our uh, two op optional, I guess, items, styles, I guess, for the back with a Hand of Midas or a Heart of Trask. And each one of them has a different death animation with special effects. We have new ultimate effects, new Q and, uh, what is it? E and W effects. Um, yeah, it's, we're going all out for that set, man. Pretty hyped. Pretty stoked. Brooklyn Hippie. I run these on a little bit. Nice, nice and crisp now. Go to resolution. See what work. Have we ever considered making an Enigma or Edeldon or anything for Enigma? Uh, Enigma is not available for the workshop, man. So we can actually make sets for it. So no. Oh shit, actually we are kinda... Whoa, something's up with Twitch actually. It's... lagging a lot. Oh, there it goes, it's back. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, there's some buffering issues. It's probably still because of the beta, and how much quicker the response time is. So I'm sure they're still working that stuff out, so you might get buffers here and there. But I'll be able to reply to questions a lot quicker. It's, it's pretty new, new uh, thing that they have going on for it, so... It's just, just bear with it. Ariel, we'll throw the cam later. The stream's having issues. Yeah, it was drop. It was uh, having trouble connecting with Twitch a little, or just yeah, the, the 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 send rate I was checking out was really going down. But it's back to normal now. Like I said, it has to do with a new feature that they implemented. You guys notice the response time's a lot better, right? Between like the delay is no longer there. Or I think it's down to like uh, I think five, six seconds, not even. Oh, we lost our resolution. Hold on, or sensitivity. There we go. We're back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, see how how fast I was able to respond to that shit? <laughs> I love it, man. Thank you, Twitch.
bring that? Oh, not enough polys here, sadly. It's alright, we'll fix it in the texture. Alright, this is looking pretty decent. What do we want to do here? Oh yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of a, an opening there. What about this guy? Oh shit. A little... Little cavity. Gingivitis. Just to make a little bit of a shadow on that bake. Save us some texturing time. And by we, I mean abyss. That looks good. Oh god, Twitch is freaking the hell out right now. Yeah, it's- it's- oh wow. It's stuttering like crazy. Dart, you wanna see the green bunny? <laughs> well, we're gonna keep it metal. We're gonna keep it metal and um... But we'll keep the shape and maybe we'll make the red ice, you know, we'll make those glow or something. How do I keep edges so crisp and polished after sub Ding. Uh Well, uh, I we first smooth out the all the quads, and then I can, we kind of sculpt all the detail, and then we run some polishing over top of that with a polish tool, the H polish tool, and then we keep reworking them back and forth, man. Yeah, Twitch is having some issues, guys. I'm sorry. Out of my control. But welcome back. Well, some of these p pixels, uh, I'm not worried about them. We'll clean them up in the texture. We don't need to do another subdivision just for those. Unnecessary. Alright, I think that part's done. Let's move over to the bottom part. Spending a little bit too much time there. Ah, oh, she had really chat. Yeah, some problems with the Twitch. Sorry about that. Let's see what uh, this is still subdivision one it looks like. Okay. Does that how many polygons are on here? Yeah, it needs another sub D. But before we do that, let's try and smooth some of these guys out or move them into a better position. Let's go lower subdivision and place these guys so they line up a little bit better. Always easier to move your shapes uh, lower polygon, lower subdivision. The higher you go, it just starts becoming a huge pain in the ass. Oh cool, these are separate? Oh good, awesome. Give this guy's a little bit more in the square. Out of things. Maybe a little bit thicker too. Looking at the quick concept there. It's a little bit nicer when they're heavier. I'm gonna start making those cross sections actually meet each other. 
on uh, both rows. Try to keep them parallel too. And then this part kind of follow the belt as much as possible. Also have to bring this guys out. Alright, this belt has to freaking away. We gotta hide this. It's completely in the way. Where are you, sir? There you are. Much better. More volumes. Good, good, good. This guy's actually over way too much, so we're gonna bring this guy over. And pull it away from those... Those laces. Is this out? Lewis Eyehorn is Ray Finkel. Closer. Angle's a little bit off. <laughs> Chad. Yeah, once you get used to the move tool, it, it becomes like one of your best brushes for Seabrush, man, for sure. It's been true at reference, yeah man, <laughs> did you get that? I don't know how many people are, uh, are, you know, are old enough. Pretty old movie now, I guess. Oh, I said Louis Einhorn is Ray Finkel. And then I, I said Laces Out before that. Laces Out! Well, yeah. I mean, I hate the mask. I, I don't know, maybe people like the mask, but I fucking hate that movie. And Ace Ventura one, it was his only good Ace Ventura, the other ones are complete trash. There's three. And only the first one is good. On all the other ones, he just completely overacted it, and it was just, like, really, really bad. It wasn't funny. It didn't seem natural any longer. Just reciting lines and you're like, oh, this is not really shitty. Bring this guy in a little bit. Bring too far! A little too far. What the hell happened to this corner? We'll fix it in a bit. No big deal. Alright, these guys look good. Time to get a nice shape. Save that little bit of work we did. Gonna get into the mask? Yeah, I mean, it's, ugh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it was clever. Like one-liners that, I mean, they're just one-liners. There's no punchline to any any jokes in that movie. You made a short circuit reference at the office today, and everyone looked at you like you were nuts. Oh, dude, short circuit was the best, Johnny Five. Dude, I think they're gonna remake that movie. I'm calling it. Hopefully, they don't use CG. Love Johnny Five. That's all I could see actually when uh, they came out with Wally. All I could see is his eyebrows. Oh, what was that movie called? Flight of the Navigator? That movie was amazing. I love that movie growing up. You watch it? Oh man. 
I think Pinninja gets too, too young for that movie. <laughs> That's a compliment. Old man. Yeah, dude, flat and Navig navigator. Amazing movie back then. No disassemble. Oh man, I gotta watch those movies again. It's been like a couple decades since I watched it. Put a flag in the back. Add a polygons, man, sorry. Like, yeah, those were some of my favorite movies growing up, man. I mean, obviously the Indiana Jones movies, obviously Star Wars, I don't even have to say that shit. Uh, what else do we have? Goonies, amazing. Hey! Goonies never say die. What? My god. This changes everything. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I had another cool movie I was gonna reference. What was it? I like Top Gun. Oh man, I had a really good one. The never ending story. Come on, guys, right? Am I right? Fucking love that movie. Movies. But honestly. Fuck this, the Swamp of Sorrows. Fuck that scene. Saddest move, like, moment in any movie that I've watched, man. Holy shit. It's right up there with the Futurama dog episode. Well, that's a TV show. You haven't even seen it. The episode I'm talking about from Futurama. No, no, Futurama. Hey! Be nice to be trauma. Most clever animated TV show there. Guess I'm a little bit off actually, I gotta fix these guys. Damn! The curve needs to go this way. A lot of finessing, but it'll be worth it. Promise! No tackles? I can, take, I can take a break to eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, this is a great song. Hey, easy, Debbie. I think this guy's had a little bit up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck that swamp. <laughs> Absolutely tired. Oh my god. Fucking Atreyu. Should have pulled harder and forced the, the freaking horse out. God damn it. Oh man, Willow was amazing. I love Willow. I actually got Willow on Blu ray a few months ago. No, longer than that. Oh yeah. Willow was a shit. The last unicorn. Oh, I don't. The last unicorn. What movie is that? That's not the one with the the devil and Tom Cruise, right? Which one's that? Fuck. We we're just talking about it the other month as well. Uh, actually, yeah, it's Star Wars Celebration. We we're talking about it. What was the name of that movie? I don't think it's the last unicorn, is it? It wasn't Labyrinth. It was some. It was a different one. 80s movies were amazing, dude. Yeah, they don't they don't make those kind of movies anymore. My favorite cartoon? Uh, oh shit, man. I gotta go with Futurama. 
it's the by far the most clever cartoon that they've ever made. Even though I was a huge Simpsons fan, Futurama is still more, way more clever in their writing. And I respect that more than anything. Can I post my profile under detail about software in order so each software can get a complete item in Dota 2? Uh, what the- what? Didi? What are you asking? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. The Wizard? Oh, that's a great movie, dude. The, the Nintendo Championships were the biggest pile of shit in that movie. I mean, he's like, oh, he's a genius, he figured out where the warp zone is. Dude, nobody could ever fucking even guess. In Like, even if you ran through the level, like, 50 times, you would never guess where that warp zone is. It was so stupid the way they did that, but yeah, still an amazing movie, obviously. You know, the- the-, the the power glove is just so bad. <laughs> it's cringe good, you know? It's so fucking embarrassing to watch. Dark Crystal, oh yeah, all the puppets were amazing. Jim Hansen, baby. Thundercats, oh well that's the that's 80s cartoons and yeah, that was a great that was a great uh, cartoon man. Actually use uh, some uh, little pop-up information for you for Thundercats. They hired uh, this uh, like Asian studio to do the, the the drawings for the cartoon, and the writers kept putting in a lot of like, you know, a horde is chasing the Thundercats, and every time that they got the, the animation studio got that, they fucking detested them and ha tried to get them to rewrite those scenes because they they didn't want to draw crowds anymore. It took them forever, and they they just hated it. Also, uh, the. I think the director or the the head writer for the show had all his other writers make sure that every episode there was like something that kids would be able to learn from. You know, there was like uh, there's something for them to to better themselves, or they wouldn't finish the or they wouldn't you know actually air the episode until last that you know or, or complete the episode until that that was in, which was pretty cool, pretty cool for kids. They tried making the Thundercats, I think, a year and a half ago or so, but they only had the one season. It didn't take off, unfortunately. Legend of Zelda? Dude, I was always have to wa uh, hyped to watch Legend of Zelda, but nothing ever fucking happened in that show. I mean, I'd be like, awesome oh, watching Zelda, and you know, they go to some cool places, but nothing fucking happened. Ever. Alright, alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, you guys got me talking about a lot of shit. I gotta <laughs> concentrate. We're never gonna finish this shit. Good combo, man. Good combo. I can talk about that shit for hours. body and his arm just keeps getting in the way. Where the hell's the body? There she is. Oh my god. And the arms. A little tricky here. We'll get it though, we'll get it. Better to be precise in your lower polygon stuff. Makes it uh, life a lot easier when you move to the high polygon stuff afterwards. Set you guys up a little bit. Some room at the bottom. I can try to edit the other one, the other subgroup, and I can't do it.
Whoops. Alright, the top guys are uh, a little bit too far out. Let's bring them in. The more precise we are here, the better bakes we're gonna get. And we're all about quality. Oh, I should keep this up, I guess, for the new people. New people joining up. All right, uh, those look a lot better now. Oops. Hmm. A little bit off here and there, but that's all right. Something we can finesse when we do our polish pass. Oh shit. Alright, let's go at it now. Nice. Get our brewmaster showing again. Oh, Captain Nintendo. Yeah, I remember that show too with uh, the princess. Princess, was it Princess Peach that was in that show with him? I think it was. Excuse me, Princess. That's all I remember from that show. And he had the, the gun from the Nintendo on his belt, right? But yeah, I think in that show nothing happened either. It was like Zelda. Nothing ever fucking happened. Uh, Thundercats movie was in the works. I think that was just a rumor. I don't think they actually went through with it. I think somebody just did like a, a fan made like trailer. Uh, that's I think that's all that happened though. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What's up, Creep Creepstar? Hell yeah, man! We gotta stream more. Help more people out. <laughs> Micro mesh? No, it's just a mesh. Salty, just a mesh. What am I posting a guideline for creating Dota 2 items in my profile? Uh, you mean like a link to a video tutorial or something like that? Well, we haven't made a tutorial from from start to finish, but we have our past videos in our broadcast archive on our website at liveworkshop.com. If you want to check those out and get an idea of all the things that involve, you know, that, that it takes to create a full set, we'll we'll, make, we'll start making more tutorials when we're not so crazy busy. Okay. Without this, just take a break from the from the robe, and we'll smooth out the cummerbund a little bit. Our mirroring is set up, excellent. Shit, a little harsh. What is happening? Oh my god, am I not on the polish tool? What's happening with this thing? I'm really freaking out. <laughs> 